right now during this global pandemic, many of us have become backyard bird watchers. And on the West Coast, the smallest, cutest, most incredible bird to watch for is the hummingbird. There are resident hummingbirds. Here's a male and here's a female. But there's also a migrating hummingbird, the rufous hummingbird, which travels over 3,000 miles every year. It's been said that if you count in body lengths, that the rufous hummingbird may have the longest migration pattern in the world. Yeah, it breeds all the way in Western Alaska and then winters in Mexico. Which means it may well come to your window. Oh my God. <laughs> They're so great. They've been like showing up here lately. So, Jenny O'Dell is an artist and a writer, most well known for her book on resisting social media and the news cycles grab over our attention. And during the COVID-19 crisis, you're probably checking the news and social media a lot. There are parts of this that remind me of the moment after the 2016 election where people were, you know, engaging with social media in a way that left them feeling not good. That's certainly what I noticed at that time, and that's a lot of what spurred me to write the book. One of her ideas is actually very simple. Try putting your attention elsewhere. And for her, it was listening to birds. It was very much just this feeling of, you know, going and sitting and just listening. Um, and listening with kind of finer and finer attention. You can't really determine what you're going to see. So it requires a very open state of mind. Right? Like you don't have control over that situation. It's sort of just like pure observation. And I think that things like bird watching can teach you to just like watch a situation without needing to have an analysis or an answer. Beyond this, noticing the birds in your backyard can be useful to scientists. And you have to understand there in science, there are only a handful of disciplines where amateurs make significant contributions. And ornithology is one of those things where people can help. Just noting that there's a hummingbird in your backyard, if that was put into a big central database, um, that would be really cool. We couldn't pay enough ornithologists to go out there and get those kind of data. Thanks in part to data sets created by citizen scientists, the Cornell Lab discovered that many common bird populations in North America are down significantly since the 1960s, including the Rufus hummingbird. Almost a third of the individual birds in North America are gone. That's about three billion birds. They're just not there anymore. Things like house sparrow and starling and pigeon that you do see in the city. And so this is like a gut punch, you know, to people that are interested in birds because we can watch a rare bird go extinct, but a lot of these rare birds were common birds first. During this time of widespread self-isolation, maybe give some attention to the birds. <laughs>